to everyone and I for the record my name is Tim Filkins I am a member and past chair of the Oregon Society of Certified Public Accountants I am a certified public accountant in public practice with the firm of Timothy R Filkins CPA LLC located in Portland first of all we appreciate your joint efforts to navigate various strategies as you seek solutions to the state's projected budget deficit. And we recognize that you'll be deciding on some very difficult decisions. The following comments are based on our experiences of working with our business clients and our perspective on how tax rates affect businesses. We're providing input that we hope will be considered and perhaps useful in the, in the committee's decision making. We recognize and understand that whatever the final legislation outcome is, the results will be brought about by having to make tough, tough choices on ways to raise additional revenues. On behalf of the OSCPA, I would like to briefly and respectfully advance a few considerations related to the Dash 2 amendment of the House bill. First, with regard to tax adjustment considerations, uh, an adjustment to the corporate income tax rate is uh, the least intrusive method of adjusting taxes as businesses will be able to plan for these changes. With regard to the commercial activity tax, we applaud the committee for considering the various industry types and determining what the rate of gross receipts tax should be. If you decide upon a gross receipts tax, it appears the system is somewhat similar to the state of Washington business and occupation tax, b &O tax, which makes sense because it takes into account the differences in the industry that businesses operate and the rate of tax. Other considerations related to the gross receipts tax, uh, it is possible that the gross receipts tax could have a negative impact on the other functions of business in that a gross receipts tax could cause a company to devote more time and resources in monitoring cash flow, inventory levels, and employee counts as compared to monitoring profits. The Oregon pass-through activities tax rate Although we understand the Oregon PTE provision is being considered for repeal, we would ask the committee to consider an amendment to the current statute for the prior years. The amendment that we suggest would allow eligible Oregon pass-through taxpayers to file amended returns to correct their prior year tax returns if the lower tax rate uh, was admitted in their originally filed return. Thank you for this opportunity to share perspective at today's hearing. Thank you very much. Any brief questions? Thank you, sir. Appreciate your testimony. Uh, David Vernier, uh, Carol Christ, 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 and Matt Ellis, please. <laughs> 